Hey Brandon, this is Becky Liana with Gray Owl Marketing. We spoke yesterday and I promised you this video. I'll keep it brief, but I just wanted to show you three tips you can use today to help bring in more customers to your business. Because oftentimes in the world of internet, most local business owners are just too busy running their business to keep up with the internet and how it can really work for them and optimize their company. So if at the end of this video, you like what you heard, you can shoot me a message and we can continue to chat. Or if at the end of the video, you simply want to just take the free tips that I'm giving you and uh, go try them out yourself, that works too. But I just want to go ahead and we'll get started and we'll jump in. The first thing I notice when I come to your company's website, you know, is visually it's very appealing. Um, I love this call to action button right here, right on the front page. So that's good. You know, you got a lot of great visuals talking about your reputation. Um, that's really nice. Um, you do have um, quite a bit of content here, um, but when it comes to optimizing with Google, you really need about 1,500 words on that home page. And it looks like you guys are close, um, but you want to optimize the content as well. So not all content is created equal. Um, you want to think about optimizing this with the right amount of content but the the right amount of keywords and so i use a cool a tool called arifs um, this tool is something i pay for you can use something similar which costs that which is free which is seo quake so you're welcome to do that um, but this here when uh, if i go back here this is the home page when i put in your website this is kind of a snapshot of your online presence and when I look at it, you know, you're getting some organic traffic, so you're not doing bad. You got some organic traffic coming and you are ranking for um, some organic keywords. So when I look at um, the organic keywords that your website is, is being optimized for, you can see a bunch of them here. So bus spa you're ranking for, um, but you're probably uh, a little bit, you're on the bottom of page one. Um, custom interior shops, but when you think about buyer intent keywords, this is a good buyer intent keyword. Automotive Upholstery Atlanta, that's getting searched a hundred times per month. And you're not doing bad. You're number five. So you're you're right on the cusp there, but you know, um, being at the top is really important when we think about these buyer intent keywords. So if we use something like that, you're you're not doing too bad. Again, here's another little variation of it. Um, hundred searches there, um, and you're not doing too bad. These are all your kind of your name, so that's um, something that you want to look at. But Auto Postry in Atlanta is getting searched 50 times a month. You're number five, so you're right on the cusp there when it comes to keywords. And um, you can think about putting these keywords, you know, in your content on the the home page here, so that you can optimize that. Because if you have keywords that people are searching for in your content, this will allow you to rank higher and be seen by more of your potential customers. And what a great way for your customers to come to you, right? So I'd recommend focusing on two or three keywords, having them in here um, so that when in your website's content, so that when people are searching, you know, you're going to come up for those critical um, buyer intent keywords. Um, so that's one thing I want to talk to you about. Um, the next thing and the second most important thing that I think about is the Google business profile. So if I jump over here to your Google business profile, you really want to think about optimizing that so that you can rank higher in those top three spots. Now, this is where you want to just kind of grow your business and keep looking at that. Um, you want to continue to grow and build this profile. Uh, you can do that a lot of different ways, but I'll show you a few of them. The first thing is really thinking about your Google reviews. You do have quite a bit of reviews here, so that's awesome. Your 4.6 star, really great. Sounds like you're doing some fabulous work over there. Um, so you want to continue to get five star reviews. Um, the second thing I want to talk to you about is what we call the NAP, which is your name, address, and profile. You want to be pretty consistent throughout the web. That's really important. Google wants to see that people can search for you on various different platforms and get the same information. Consistency on your website, consistency on Google, that's really important. So if you look here at your phone number and then you go back to your website, you want to see that the phone number is the same. Um, you want to see that your hours of operation and your address are exactly the same. So when I look there, I do see that your phone numbers are the same. 
it looks like you know you have some consistency with your address um, and then you want to look at like hours of operation and you want this to be consistent across the entire web presence so one you want to have a good footprint across the web so you want to think about putting your name address and phone number in areas like Yelp and Yellow Pages and White Book and City Star and so on tons of different places but just make sure they're saying the exact same thing so you also have a Facebook page again all those areas along the web you want to make sure that you're consistently showing the same information and the last thing I'll say about your Google profile is looking at your pictures it's always great to have pictures I see you have some here but again another way to optimize this is thinking about saving your pictures using keywords so when I look at this your picture is only saved as a UV you want to try to save this as keywords it's gonna help you get found better um, and then you can use things like geotags, which puts you on the map. Um, and those are really cool because when you save pictures and use geotags, Google sees this type, sees the type of work that you're doing and also sees where you're doing it. So when people are searching for similar things, you're going to show up. And the last thing I want to talk to you about, um, which is really important aspect of Google is your company's online reputation or your company's site authority. Um, and so when you think about that, you can see um, your website here. And again, I put it in, <coughs> excuse me, I put it in um, this tool that I have. And if I go back to the home page, this is kind of your online presence. The top three spots pull about 40% of all the traffic. And in order to get in those top three spots, you want to have really strong strength. So here you have 110 referring domains that are pushing about 3,000 backlinks to your website. So you're doing, you're not doing bad, but what you want to think about is those strengths and not all backlinks are created equal. So while you do have 3,000 and you have 110 referring domains, if you look down here, the do follow number, only 50 of those referring domains are what's really giving your website strength. And when you think about that, you know, all links are not created equally. You're in car upholstery. So, for example, if Pizza Hut had a backlink to your page, it's not very relevant because you don't make pizza. So it's not that strong. So only 50 of your referring domains are giving you the strength that you have here. And if you look at this UR and DR, you want to see it above 20. So that's great but it more ideally you want to be 30, 40 and get it up there. And you also want to see like a one for one ratio here with this DR and this UR. So again, when you do something like search for automotive upholstery Atlanta, um, you're not quite coming up. You're really close. You're number four or five, depending on what search terms, sometimes six, but you're not showing up on this first page and everybody searches differently. The first thing you'll see is ads and you see Tim Auto Upholstery has an ad up. Um, some people click on ads, but the top three are these ones right here. They're in what we call the map pack and about 40%, like I said, of all searches click on these areas here, which is important. And then down here is what we call organic search. So again, you're not really showing up on page one at all. Um, and people typically don't leave that first page. So those are three opportunities that you could think about building in your online presence when you're thinking about your strategy. But you can see this first one right here. One, they're in the map pack, and then you can also see their name down here first in the organic search. So they're optimizing kind of two of the three ways that people search for things. And uh, they could throw an ad up here and just kind of really dominate. But if we look at them, you know, here's their website. Um, so you look at their website, they do have some content here, um, but again, they're not optimizing it. Google likes to see 50, at least 1500 words on their homepage. I don't know, they probably have about maybe a couple hundred here. So if you updated your website, you could probably really uh, optimize for that. But if, if you again look at this strength here, this is your number one top competitor and how they look. And when you compare that to you, um, you know, there's not a big difference in this score here. So you really do have an opportunity to just make some tweaks and rebuild your strategy 
in order to beat them. They have 302 referring domains while you have 110. You know, they're only getting 785 backlinks out of that, which you got about 3,000. But again, like I said, not all um, referring domains are the same. They have 257 of them that are giving them strength. So these are really relevant backlinks that are giving them strength. And again, that might look like a big number compared to your 50, but over time you could easily get there and start outranking them and take that number one spot away from them. So those are the three things that I really wanted to show you. Again, just to summarize, you wanna think about, um, think about your content on your homepage and optimizing for buyer intent keywords. You wanna think about, um, your map pack and your name address and phone number and optimizing that in multiple places across the web um, to beat out your competition and you could easily do that and beat them out by a landslide and then thinking about your strength here when you look at your website building up your strength and getting those links there so if you implement these strategies today you could easily take that number one spot on the google right and you can do this yourself, or if you want to be more effective and think about a different route and save yourself some time, you can reach out to me at 518-225-4207, and we can set up a time to chat. Once again, my name is Becky Leana with Gray Owl Marketing, and my number is 518-225-4207. I hope you found this information valuable, and have a good one.